this next rule is called product of powers. Okay, now again, we're multiplying, right? Product means multiply. And powers is just another word for exponents. So you're going to see this is actually pretty similar to our previous page. It's just going to be longer, right? Not harder, just longer. So here I have 2x squared n to the third times 5x to the third n. So what does this equal? Well, let's just think about what it actually means, right? It means 2 times x times x times n times n times n, right? That's what that means. Times 5 times x times x times x times n. So this is what this means. So let's actually just go ahead and do the multiplication. So I'm going to do 2 times 5. That's 10. x times x times x times x times x. That's x being multiplied 5 times. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. n is being multiplied 4 times. So here's my answer. Okay. So what you observe is the same as the previous page. Right, I'm going to add the exponents. Right, You can see, look here, this was x to the second, and x to the third became x to the fifth. So add the exponents for each base. Right, so like here, this was n to the third times n to the first. There's like an invisible one there. So that was 3 plus 1, right, because there was three n's here and one more n being multiplied right here. So uh, we went ahead and that was n to the fourth. So we added the exponents for each base. Now what do we do with the numbers? We didn't add the numbers, right? We didn't do 2 plus 5. We didn't get 7. Because here what we're actually doing is multiplying, right? The exponents tell us about multiplying. So we end up adding the exponents because it says, oh, we're multiplying this and we're multiplying this as well. So we add them. But this is 2 times 5. So uh, we actually multiply the numbers. Okay? So it's very much the same as the last one, just longer. So let's just take a look at a couple examples that have some negatives, that have some fractions, right? But we're going to treat them the same. Okay. So here, this is, now, now we can write this out the long way. Okay. So I'm going to kind of show you both ways, right? I'm going to kind of do it the shortcut and then I'll write out the long way so you can see it. So I'm going to multiply the numbers. 3 times 4, that's 12. Right? Now this is a times a, times a times a times a times a times a times a, right? That's seven a's. Okay, and notice what I did is I added two plus five. Now this is three plus negative three. That's zero. That's b to the zero power. What's b to the zero power? What's b to the zero power? What does that equal? That equals one, remember? So I'm not going to write times one, right? I'm just going to write just like this. Okay. Now, here's the long way, right? Look, I'm going to go back and just show you, like, this is 3 times a times a times b times b times b, right? And then this is times 4 times a times a times a times a times a, right? 7 a's, so we can see that. But then this is times b to the negative third, so that's this. So basically, at the end of this, I could take all of this and put it on top of this fraction, and then I would say, oh, let me cancel out these three b's. Right? And we can see that we end up with no b's left. Let's say this was a b to the fifth and a b to the negative third. Well, then I would have 5 minus 3. I would have b to the second in my answer. Okay. But here's what we notice. right? We notice that we add the exponents for each base and we multiply the numbers. So 3 times 4 is 12. And then we added uh, 2 plus 5. And 3 uh, plus negative 3 happened to be 0. We're going to do the same thing if it's fractions. Look. Okay, we're not going to get intimidated. We're just going to use our observations. We're going to take this simple problem and say, oh, well, what do we observe? This is p to the two-thirds, n to the one-half, p to the two-thirds again, and n to the one-half again. Let's see what we get, right? In this case, these, this exponent happens to be the same as this one, and this one happens to be the same as this one, but that's just coincidence. So I'm going to multiply the numbers, right? 7 times 5, so I get 35, times p. Now this is... Two thirds plus two thirds. So let's just like let's just write. We'll use this space right here. Two thirds plus two thirds. Two plus two is four. Three plus three. So this is four thirds. 
Okay, now I can't simplify that. We don't want a mixed number. We definitely want to keep it as a fraction and not a mixed number. Okay, so we're just going to keep it as 4 over 3. And then this, the n, is this 1 half plus 1 half, right? That's 2 halves. That's 2 over 2. That equals just 1. So this is just n, n to the first power. Write it like this. Okay, so again, now look, this one, it's hard to make the observation, right? But we can use the observation that we made here to just say, oh, well, I'm going to add these exponents on the p's and add the exponents on the n's and multiply the numbers. Okay, so now it's your turn to try. So go ahead and copy down these problems and try them before you continue. So carefully copy these down and try them, and here's your last one. Okay. Go ahead and copy those down and try them before you continue. 